Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 News at 5. We have some more breaking news. A very intense police chase on the 5 northbound right now where police are chasing this red sedan. Andrew, that has been cruising. He is all over the road, weaving back and forth. He's now in the far left carpool lane. I think he just is approaching yes. the split. Just now hitting traffic, too. This guy's been going incredibly fast and going around every car and uh, right now is on the shoulder as traffic around him is slowed down. He hasn't hit anything yet, but that's a miracle. And if he hits something he came soon, real close. yeah, it would be no surprise if he hits something here any moment how out of control this person is driving. If you have someone out there who might be on the five north, uh, let them know yeah. what's going on because this is an extremely dangerous situation with this car driving significantly faster than traffic and now on the shoulder and putting a lot of lives at danger, frankly. Yeah, and he really was weaving in an or that back and forth. I thought there, as you see, he's leaving the carpool lane, uh, probably trying to ditch police. Not sure if he knows that he's got a police helicopter above him tracking all of his moves, but now he is going, getting off of the uh, freeway there. Looks like under the 56. Yeah, potentially that's what I was thinking, off of the 56 there, the, um, the bypass. Police were told to back off, as they often are, when there is a police chase like this where the person is driving really fast. Sometimes police are told to back off so that the driver will slow down yeah, so he doesn't feel like he's being chased. But clearly, as you said, yeah, that is not the case. This guy is all over the place. No, in fact, on the freeway, he was passing a car a moment while we were in that uh, break and nearly hit one of those barriers head on. And you can see how fast this guy's going. I mean, and we can't tell, you know, by number, through, but it is blowing through much stop faster lights, than you'd ever imagine. Look at going across the uh, <gasps> center divide. He just hit something. He must have hit a so uh, mirror, maybe? Someone's, someone's something mirror like there? That, yes, but uh, put, gosh, putting a lot of people in danger the way that he is going in and out uh, of traffic and around cars. Now on surface streets, right? So he's not on a freeway. Wow. He's more on a highway side street kind of situation where there's businesses and maybe even homes around that area and uh, with not a lot of regard for the people around him. Yeah, if you have kids watching this, you may want to um, remove them from the from the room. We never know. These are live pictures, so we don't know what's going to happen. Um, if police ask us to back off as our chopper as well, we will certainly do that. I haven't seen, Andrew, interestingly enough, any uh, police cars behind him. So this guy definitely is just trying to get away as he weaves through. I'm trying to get a little bit better idea of where he's going. I thought he got off of the 56 into the Carmel Valley area, but now it looks like he's uh, potentially driving on just some. Uh, yeah, I think he got off that and came onto some side streets here and kind of just lost it. Did he stop? I don't know. There are Sky Fox kind above of blocked the scene trying by to that, find him. that ridge right there. He right. may have just. Unless he's, he's going off maybe to the right. They're trying to find him now. I mean, he was going so fast, and all of a sudden Unless we he lost, crashed. lost. Yeah, he's not there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sky Fox also lost him. Yeah, he, he came out. around that ridge. On the left right. side of the screen, there's that ridge. So we kind of lost picture of him for a second. But they're going to find him here momentarily. Our producers are also trying to get some information as far as the street road that he's on. Look, Sky Fox definitely confused, trying to figure out where did this guy just disappear to. Uh, that car, that's, it was a red sedan. It was speeding at very high, high speeds. There, he is. there he is. Uh, um, it's, it's so rare for a helicopter to lose him and perhaps lose perspective considering the angle that they have. But that guy just happened to be in, in a certain spot where he was able to get away for 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, he there, is, but he back is on him. like disregarding all traffic. My gosh, you think of that biker there as he's going through the intersections, not stopping. He slowed down a little bit, thankfully. That was the first uh, time we've seen him take any regard for anybody else there. We've been watching this police chase was started less than 10 minutes ago out off of Gilman Drive in La Jolla. The guy hopped on the five northbound there. We're getting a clear picture you can inside. Read the um, driver's uh, license plate there yeah, too. I can't read it. It's going too fast, but man, look at him going through and anyone who drives in the La Jolla uh, Carmel Valley area at this time knows how difficult traffic is there. He's going into one of the neighborhoods. It looks like he's pulling into wow. a house. Is it a house or an apartment This is complex? in Camino del Mar. Okay, he's Mar. pulled into a parking space here. Let's see if he gets out and makes a run for it. And that's right. exactly what it looks like he's going to do. Look, it's like, is there somebody else in the car, perhaps? Or he threw maybe something else in? Let's see. I'm surprised we're not seeing any police officers behind him, but you got to believe they're close on his tail as the chopper uh, person there is going to be uh, giving He may have just dropped something out and got back in the car. 
What in so the hard world? to tell from from this angle and this in this height. But uh, well, back he in the car. He definitely moved something. But there he goes back in the car off of Camino Del Mar. Trying to talk with our producer now. Is this in the Carmel Valley area, Ryan? We're still in the Carmel Valley area off the five. We saw him get off of the bypass. Now he's driving on the sidewalk. Oh, wow. And there's a guy right there. It shows you just how dangerous this is. Man. Uh, you know, and no fault to the other drivers. You're kind of like in your zone sure. when you're driving home. You don't really realize what's going on unless someone is calling or texting you and they're watching it on the news saying, hey, man, look out for this uh, kind of crazy driver here in this red car. I didn't see anybody else in the vehicle, but that doesn't mean that he that there isn't somebody. We just didn't see him right. when he stopped there. He definitely got out of the car, adjusted something. It looked like he threw something in his passenger side and then got back in the car and kept going. Yeah, so he was just in the bike lane a moment ago. And while he's taking a little bit of regard for intersections, he's not taking any regard for uh, you know, walking intersections where people might be coming across the street or obviously the bike lane that he got in a second ago. Now he's at a dead stop and kind of has nowhere to go because he can't really go over that median and he can't get around any of these cars. This is the first time we've kind of seen him stop uh, and really get stuck, uh, kind right. of boxed in. But uh, that is the case. And again, like you said, Jen, these cars around him have no real idea of what's going on. They don't realize mm -hmm. Sky Fox and uh, police choppers are above head following this particular red car. But that's exactly what's happening because uh, this guy has been driving so erratically and so wildly for the last couple of minutes that we've been seeing some pretty incredible stuff as he now moves into the Del Mar area. Again, if you have anybody out in the road right now that could be in the Del Mar area, uh, or even on the five um, that could potentially be in the path of this guy. Give him a heads up. Let him know what's going on. Oh, We're there doing he our goes. best Look to get the information. Look at him weaving in and out. Oh my goodness! Is this really Jimmy Durante? This looks like Jimmy Durante Boulevard going right through. If, if I'm right where he is, I think the racetrack mm -hmm. is going to be up here on the left where he just went through sort of the downtown Del Mar area. But he has been all over the road, so I could definitely be wrong in my if directional. That is in, in fact, the case, he could be headed right back to the five. Right, it looks like his arm or something is out of the window. He's got his window rolled down or he's holding up his arm. In many this cases is, like this. could just be blocking the sun. Right. That's where the sun is right this part of the day. It's so interesting. We see so many police chases out of the L.A. area, not very many in the San Diego area. In a case like this, we did hear that police were told to back off as he was on the five. Uh, and probably for good reason, honestly, because the mm -hmm. way this guy was driving, he was so erratic and going so fast. So if this is uh, where we think that he is, this uh, road kind of is swinging around where Del Mar racetrack is. Hard to tell. It's really hard to yeah, tell because really we're so can't. focused in. But maybe if Sky Fox does pull out here, we'll see the racetrack on the left side. And that's exactly where they are. It is. Okay, so right. the, the five is right in front of him. He's going to come up to right. um, the road here, Via de la Valle, mm -hmm. and perhaps take a right and get back on the five. Yep. Or would go left and get closer to uh, to the water. Right, so that's Jimmy Durante Boulevard that he's on. He's going to come up on that, that Hilton Hotel there mm -hmm. on the right and the gas station. And Andrew, I think you're right on. If he wants to get try to lose the police tail, he is probably going to get back on the freeway. Though you drive this every day, and the 5 northbound is normally pretty crowded. Well, sure. It's 537 in the afternoon. He is going toward the 5 right now. So taking that right and getting onto Via de la Valle. And, uh, if he maybe stays just in that lane, he'll get on the 5 hundred yards southbound. Ahead. Just a couple hundred yards ahead is the 5. So he stays in the right lane. He's going south. If he keeps going a little farther, he's going to get to the opportunity to go north. And he is going south. It looks like so he's right. getting back on the five going south and perhaps, you know, a, a move to avoid some traffic, like you said, this time uh, of the day at 537. And clearly that is the case looking at the five a lot more open for this driver to head back south. This is a, a chase, by the way, if you're just joining us, it started in the La Jolla area. And this is what we saw as it started. Mm -hmm. This guy driving extremely fast, extremely erratically and with little regard for the cars around him. And in this case, again, is uh, going much faster than traffic anyway, but not quite as fast, perhaps, as we saw shortly ago. There, Sky Fox pulling out, giving you a better pr perspective. Interesting, this guy probably thinks that he's not going to hit very much traffic going southbound, but he's got another thing coming as he approaches the split because mm -hmm. traffic almost comes to a dead stop. It clears through Del Mar, and then once you hit that 805-5 split, it definitely slows down. So I'll be curious to see what he does as he tries to maneuver and outpace the police, he's approaching at this point uh, the 56, and uh, it looks like uh, Delmar Heights Road. He got on the 5 southbound at Via de la Valle as he had passed the fairgrounds, kind of wove through downtown Delmar. As Andrew had first mentioned, he got on the 5 northbound 
at uh, Gilman Drive there in La Jolla. So we had seen uh, this guy make a stop. He pulled into a parking spot. It almost seemed like a pretty specific Strange. parking spot. And either pull something out of the car or move something within the car. And uh, from our perspective, it almost looks like he keeps reaching over to the passenger side. But we haven't seen any uh, evidence that there's another person inside. That was a strange move. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen that. He pulled into the parking lot, yeah. got out quickly, and then adjusted something, and then got right back in and pulled out and came within inches, by the way, of slamming into a car that was parked behind him, didn't, and then got back on the freeway. There is he's passing Carlo Mountain Road and the bypass there of the 56 as he's headed on the 5 southbound. In the next mile and a half or so, he's going to approach the 56. I'm sorry, he's approaching the 56. He's going to approach the 8055 split where traffic often gets very congested. Almost looks like, Andrew, he's doing a big loop because this is sort of where he started. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing him weave in between lanes as much as he was in the beginning of this chase, but I mean, there, look at him. He was in the far right lane and now he's swinging all the way over to the left and eventually will probably just try to pick up the carpool lane or something to uh, allow him to keep moving. It, I, I'll be very curious to figure out why He's running in the first place. If, right. if police tried to pull him over, as often happens, either for a routine traffic stop or let's just say his tail light was out, uh, or if he's got an outstanding warrant. Yeah, or this isn't a, I mean, he, he's obviously running for right, something. Right, this, this isn't a tail light situation. Obviously, there's something that may have tipped him off in the first place, but now he he's getting off, off at there. Carmel Mountain mm -hmm. Road. Okay, and by the way, the, as Skyfox points out right there, I was just going to say there isn't a ton of traffic uh, when it comes to the five there. So they did get off at Carmel Mountain Road, and Skyfox seems to have lost him there? Is that? Mm -hmm. No, nope, that's That doesn't not look like him. the right car. He's just looking nope. for a red car right now. Yeah. Uh, he got off at Carmel Mountain Road. I don't know if he got right back onto the freeway. I think he's right there, yeah. Uh, hmm. They're just looking for a red car. That might, looks like it, it might be it. That was, that was a very similar look to the car. Looks like either a Hyundai or a, or a Lexus. Sonata or something, yeah. It's hard, hard to tell from the, the logo from this height, but um, if that is in fact the car, there he is back on the 5 South and, and seems to have a kind of a clear go looking at traffic. I don't, I don't see a ton of traffic. I am so traffic surprised. I always until, feel like it's really crowded at this time. Well, I'll say if you get to the split and you get to the, the 5, where the 805 and the 5 split, uh, that might be a spot where, and he's getting on the 805, it looks like right there. Staying left onto the 805 where right. there probably is less traffic uh, right about now. Wow, this is really interesting. We're um, trying to talk to the police department and figure out why are they are chasing this guy. It's interesting to note, whenever there's a chase on the freeway, it's the CHP who is taking the lead command of the investigation at this point. Could have been San Diego police, for example, who initially tried to pull him over or for whatever reason, uh, first initially made the call. And then as soon as it gets onto a freeway, the CHP takes over, and of course they are working with the other agencies, San Diego Police, perhaps even the Sheriff's yeah, Department. I was just going to say real quick, there is traffic coming up, and, and okay, he there seems it is. to be yep. getting to it right now. Now uh, he's on the southbound 805 approaching Carroll Canyon, which yeah. is the Sorrento Valley area, which is really where it starts to back up. You have all that Qualcomm traffic that's headed home. All the way to the 52, which is probably for the next uh, couple of miles there. He's going to have some decent traffic. He is in the HOV far left lane. Uh, I believe there's another uh, kind of open lane here, right there where he's passing, that he could have split off, but he didn't. Uh, so he stays there in the left lane and uh, is passing by traffic well enough right now. You might ask, where is he going to go? Well, if you're just joining us, he's going to go under the shoulder or wherever he has to go because that's kind of the... Uh, mode of the, operandi the, at this point. Exactly what I was going to say. That's, that's kind of been his MO to this point in uh, this chase. Right now, he's not driving the way he was at the beginning, which was just about oh. anywhere he wanted to. Right now he's kind of following traffic, maybe hoping there to blend in. We see in. him trying to maneuver a little bit. Not anything all that erratic, though he's cutting their three lanes and trying to get into the far slow lane there and try to pick up some speed and maybe, get away. Where, where he's going... Maybe thinking about the 52 here. And I think traffic breaks up actually shortly after they cross the 52, but that might be a spot, either the 52 or... Uh, one of the other exits right there off of the 805. I think he's still got a little bit of time a little bit to go. You're right. before he to gets go. to the 52. I mean, this area near the Sorrento Valley, Qualcomm area is just a mess at this mm -hmm. time. They're doing all that construction, right? It's you Miramar, see there. Bull, uh, Miramar Road, right? Miramar right. Miramar Road and La Jolla Village Drive. Okay. So there he's getting off of nope, that. He's staying right back nope, on. Nope. There he goes. He's just getting around traffic. And this is more Oof. reminiscent of what we saw shortly ago, which is that he's going to go on the shoulder and just yes. go for it. So it may have been either been 
tipped off that yes, police are still chasing him or took care of whatever he needed to take care of inside the car as far as the evidence goes and decided we're gonna make a run for it once again. Which if that's okay, I mean, what, what is he gonna do? He's, we haven't seen anything get thrown thrown out the window. Right, um, other than that one stop in the Del Mar area to, uh, to either move evidence, pull it out of the car or something. Now he's getting to a bit of a squeeze here where that shoulder lane is disappearing Oof. and he's cutting right in the middle of traffic. Once again, if you have somebody on the road there heading south on the 805, uh, you might want to give them a heads up out there that there's a really erratic driver in this red Honda who is uh, putting a lot of people wow. at risk and he's showing exactly how dangerous he is once again. This is some of the area that's under construction, so he's got to be careful too that that doesn't hit some crazy big pothole or something. Sure. If you're just joining us here, by the way, at 10 to 6, we've been following for the last 20 minutes or so this very erratic driver in this red Honda that has been taking police on quite the chase, started in La Jolla, at the five northbound and he was cruising, weaving in and out of traffic at one point almost look at there, almost crashing into drivers. He then got off the road somewhere in Carmel Valley, randomly pulled into what looked like he knew where he was going, mm -hmm. a parking lot, got out of the car, messed with something in his passenger side, got back in, pulled off, took police around another uh, neighborhood and then got back on the five southbound at Via de la Valle. And now we're picking him up off the 805 South, just passing the Miramar La Jolla exit. And he is driving very erratically. Police, it should be n noted, have been told to back off because of the dangerous situation. Sort of hold your breath in these situations because there's the police helicopter going right in front of Sky Fox there. They obviously tracking him with their eyes in the sky as he continues to pick up speed now on the southbound 805. You, you really do hold your breath in these situations because you feel like there's thousands of these other drivers that are innocently going home from work. They have their kids in their car. Mm -hmm. They're going back and you got this crazy guy weaving in and out of traffic, going from the far right lane to the far left lane, pretending that he's getting off the freeway, then getting back on. And the likelihood is he's going to at some point crash, whether he crashes on his own or crashes into somebody else. This is not going to end well. No, and this is the Claremont Mesa Boulevard exit uh, where he just passed by once again. Almost looked like he was getting off uh, and decided to come back on, and he's back all the way across into the left lane. Like you said, I mean, that's really interesting, Jen, because we see these kinds of drivers on the road all the time. And you look at him, you say, all right, you know, one knucklehead out there just driving mm -hmm. crazy. These folks don't realize just how wild this particular driver is. Right. I mean, he is really, really a danger to a lot of people. And, uh, and it's not afraid to put them in danger because he cares about one person, that's himself, uh, who, as he runs from authorities. Back onto the shoulder there. I mean, you never know what you're going to hit on the shoulder, what you're going to spray up to yeah, somebody take, else or the fact that you're going to fly into somebody else. It almost looks like he might have blown a tire. Yeah, certainly looks like that. Uh, we didn't see any spike strips set down, so it could have just been from his speed or for something. something like you said, he, I'm sure he hit something as he was going back and forth and back and forth. If that's the case, he's not going to be able to drive very long because no. that tire is going to shred and he's going to be driving on the axle of his car. Coming up to the 163 area as they hit traffic once again. So, yeah, let's, let's keep an eye on that back. looks like back left tire maybe, mm -hmm. uh, unless it was the front left, but there it's on the see, left side. There you see the uh, 163 and the 805. He just passed, by the way, the Fox 5 Studios here in Kearney Mesa. Sky Fox gives us a bigger picture of some of the traffic. I drive this route every day. I know normally at 615 or 630 he is still going to hit traffic on the 805 southbound. It looks like now he's approaching still on the 805 in the far right lane in that red car now on the shoulder mm -hmm. getting on to the 163 South, which also typically has a decent amount of traffic, not necessarily as busy as the 805, but yeah. getting on the 163 South headed toward the downtown area. He's going to first pass uh, the Linda Vista area and then eventually hit the Fashion Valley uh, Mission Valley area as we sort of lose him a little bit through those trees as Sky Fox then comes above. And man, look at how fast he's going there on the 163 in the far right lane, that red car. We believe he's got a blown left back tire, but given how fast he's going, Andrew, mm -hmm. I'm not really a car expert, so I could be wrong, could be wrong about this, but uh, I, I'm, surp I'm surprised if he truly does have a blown tire, he's able to go this fast right. for this long. He was, something was kicking up. It may not have been uh, from a blown tire, though it may have looked right, like, like that. Right, like just so, dust or something. Sure. And, Looking at uh, traffic, by the way, it is uh, extremely slow all the way through Balboa Park on the 163. I mean, there, there's a ton of traffic. This guy's going to be uh, in for a oh, while. Hold here. on, hold on. It looks like he's reversing. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is reversing, correct? Again, he's this is on the 163 the south, and this guy is reversing oh. northward. 
Right. So you're coming onto that exit, and what you have no world? idea that this guy's coming the wrong <gasps> way. This is a really scary situation. I do want to warn our viewers, too. This is all live video. We are watching it as you are Goodness. watching it. Our hearts are pounding just like yours are, and our, we are holding our breath as this guy. He's going 40 miles an hour probably down this off-ramp. I think this is the Genesee wow. off-ramp. Super off lucky of the 163. nobody got, got Take hit Take a look there. at the biker in the f bottom right corner. Oh, you can't really see him, but... Okay, so now he realized he missed his exit there. I, I'm pretty sure that's Genesee off of the 163, and now he is headed on the Genesee exit. So going westbound maybe? Right, feel free if someone wants to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's where he's going. Uh, and going right through that exit, not even slowing down. Eastbound Mesa College is what we're told. Okay. Have you ever seen that where somebody on a Never. freeway dead stops? reverses down a curving ramp and, and then gets onto and another fast, road. fast and fast. Really fast, with a curve, no less. Now he's getting back. Is, this, is he going to get back on the one? All right, okay, this is so 805 now. South. So he's going from the 163 backwards up that ramp. And now, then it's, it's not finding the same his way ramp, back onto though, the 805 think. South. No, not the same ramp. Wow. Traffic still at a very, very slow speed there on the 805, which is typical of this time of day. This guy, we are told, is a parolee. Assuming that plays into some factor of what, why he's running from police, which he has been for the last half an hour, and has had total disregard for other drivers on the road. As you see here, he is picking up speed, going faster, mm -hmm. in the shoulder, far right lane of wow. the 805 South, correct? Correct. The 805 South, as he uh, now approaches, he's going to start approaching the uh, 8 the 8 freeway east and west is going to be coming up here shortly within probably a mile. If he stays in the right lane, he will pick up 8 west. And the time of day there that this is, is oh happening, goodness, yep, he's going it. to west. He started mm -hmm. to go east, and then he again, pump faked almost and went west. And this is a single lane road here, by the way. That is a very dangerous curve to get now onto the 8 westbound. He is right above the um, the Mission Valley area. What's that? What's that? Uh, Dave and Buster's, that's what it is, mm -hmm. right above that. So he's just passing that, and here he is approaching now the 8 westbound near the Mission Valley area as this red sedan continues to take police. And, and notice, I haven't seen any CHP officers behind him for a mile. I mean, yeah. they are way pulled back, and at this point they are strictly chasing him from their eyes in the sky, from the sheriff's helicopter, as well as from the PD helicopter, and for good reason, because this guy is is on a mission for sure. Yeah, this is a terrible time of the day to try to pull a stunt like this, but on the 8 west where this guy is right now, there's little traffic. He's coming up to a situation where he can either go north or south on the 5, mm -hmm. or could stay straight and go to the beach communities. You'd imagine, given what we've seen, he'll probably get on a freeway. Yeah, so uh, less traffic for this person to deal with, but this is uh, more of what we've seen earlier, where he drives right in and out of traffic and goes wherever he wants without regard for what is written or drawn on the, the road when it comes to lines and it comes to uh, safety procedures. I mean, he's got to be going 80 miles an hour at this point, right? Look, at he's almost getting off there at whatever that exit was. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Morena, maybe? Uh, and, and now he's continuing to weave in and out, picking up speed, not slowing down. Now he's getting on the five, potentially. Where are we right now? Or he's going to Sports Arena. Is that is that, that area? Uh, no, that's the 163. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the 163. Yep, right, it it's is on 163, 163 now. Yep. southbound. You've been watching this live police chase for the last half an hour with myself and Andrew. We want to hand it off now to the Fox 5 News at 6 with Kathleen Bade and Phil Blauer. Once again, you're following breaking news in progress here on the Fox 5 News at 6. This is apparently a suspect, a parolee, that has taken police on a high-speed chase since about 5.30. It started in La Jolla when this individual was going on the 5 off of Gilman, and then it's traversed across several freeways, and in pretty much every direction the compass will take you. He has gone through, and we believe it is a male suspect because he did get out of the car at one point in Del Mar. It's taken a... Uh, the police choppers and those in pursuit overhead through Del Mar Village on the 5 southbound to the 805 south to the 163 south where the suspect then drove in reverse down an off ramp to get back on the 805, the 8 west and now we're on the 163 south. And that is a long and dangerous list of freeways where this person has been driving rather erratically just passing between those two cars 
and just nearly scraping both sides of them as he continues to make his way off another off ramp here and driving on the shoulder has become customary of this suspect as well. We believe there is only one individual inside the car. We have not been told otherwise. This is the area of the 163 South where the suspect may be under the overpass passing Washington. Now, if you know this area, there's Kensington, there's all kinds of uh, tight knit communities there and traffic can really come to a stop. This is the Hillcrest area in particular. And as you know, very narrow roads, um, very uh, congested, particularly this time of night. So now we're seeing this individual stopped. Now you might be asking yourself, where is the police presence? Well, just like Sky Fox, they were following overhead and they've been told basically to stand down because of not only the time of day, but the erratic nature of this particular suspect. And that is in the name of public safety. It looks like he is using the shoulders once again to continue this pursuit going south on the 163 and we all know where that's headed. That's downtown towards the Balboa Park area. And again, you're going to run into a lot of congestion in those areas. I'm going to bring in my partner here, Phil Blower, as we continue to follow this high speed chase that has gone on for at least 30 minutes so far. Absolutely. And as we saw uh, during uh, Jen and Andrew's coverage, this guy just is doing all sorts of maneuvering here. We saw him go backwards at one point down an on ramp. Luckily, so far, you know, one person has been sideswiped. We haven't seen anybody seriously hurt by this, but this car, Kathleen, has reached speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. This is now being followed strictly by air, we understand, uh, by the CHP and perhaps even by San Diego police as he continues to maneuver through these tight spots, again, through the downtown area, past Balboa Park there on your left-hand side. We're going to have to see how he emerges. Most of the traffic at this time of day is coming out of downtown, but there is still some concern. And there you see the signs there. Could go southbound on 163, where it still appears he's going, or he could turn to the right and go northbound on the 5. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, earlier in Del Mar, we saw him blow through several stop signs. We've seen him again drive on shoulders. In fact, the sidewalk at one point, he stopped at an office complex in Del Mar, and got there out he for is a second, got back in. Got back in, and that's the Laurel Street Bridge right there. Now, here he comes. He's decided to stay on the southbound lane of the 163, now going through downtown. Now, this ends into 10th Street, so we'll have to see what happened. He could be on surface streets here in just a couple of moments. Uh, again, this is uh, going to be very, very crowded for him as this narrows down. Going to be passing uh, over here by City College in just a couple of minutes, so we'll keep our eye on him. And again, you're watching the Fox 5 News at 6 as we continue to follow this breaking news. This is a parolee that gave chase for some reason. We don't really know. Uh, of course, uh, we thought there may be at that juncture he might get back on the southbound 5 and head to Mexico as many people uh, try to attempt, which you're only going to run into Customs and Border Patrol agents, so that's really not a realistic option for this person. But now kind of hidden behind the buildings here in downtown San Diego, this uh, suspect with CHP overhead trying to keep eyes on him may find cover in some of these high rise buildings. Uh, we don't know just how many uh, police units are on standby in different areas of the city. So you can imagine that they're keeping an eye on that person uh, who is wanted for this erratic driving in excess of speeds of 100 miles an hour. We, we guesstimate, but it certainly seems that way. Uh, you can see Sky Fox is trying to pick up the trail of this uh, parolee get back on. Uh, I believe the uh, 805 South at that point. But in any case, he's now downtown uh, and we believe surrounded in a parking garage on 9th Avenue. And once again, if you're just joining us, uh, this started at about 530 tonight. Uh, Kathleen's done a great job of recapping. We still have not been told by authorities exactly what this person is, is wanted for, other than just that he's a parolee. This is still one of the most fascinating parts of this whole pursuit is when he pulls in this upper parking garage here of this office complex in Del Mar and begins shifting uh, stuff around in his car, taking about 30, 40 seconds there. And then you'll see him get back in reverse and sort of casually tap this other car that's uh, on top of that. A garage and then move on. At one point also we thought that one of his tires on the left hand side of his vehicle, which is uh, described to us as a Honda Accord, uh, had been flattened perhaps by some of the debris that he had been driving on in a shoulder. But that, if that's true, it didn't seem to affect him uh, still maintaining some fairly high speeds throughout this uh, pursuit and also weaving his way into the downtown area where we still believe he is at this hour. We're learning new details today about the guy who police say led them on a high speed chase throughout San Diego last evening. You watched it play out live on the Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. 
We've learned that before this, Aaron Howley had nine felony cases filed against him, mostly drug charges. Last night, we watched as he drove his car recklessly through La Jolla to Del Mar, back to Kearney Mesa and downtown. At one point, he drove in reverse on the 163, up a ramp, before then switching freeways. Witnesses last saw him at an underground parking garage near the East Village. I just saw him go very fast into the garage, um, and then he almost hit someone in there, my customer, and then um, my customer said something to him because he got literally within an inches of hitting him at a very fast pace, and, um, and he just said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, and then that was it. Police searched through nearby apartments into the night, but they have yet to find him. Officers say that they believe he changed clothes before getting away. Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 News at 5. We have some more breaking news. A very intense police chase on the 5 northbound right now where police are chasing this red sedan. Andrew, that has been cruising. He is all over the road, weaving back and forth. He's now in the far left carpool lane. I think he just is approaching yes. the split. Just now hitting traffic, too. This guy's been going incredibly fast and going around every car. And uh, right now is on the shoulder as traffic around him is slowed down. He hasn't hit anything yet, but that's a miracle. And if he hits something he came soon, real close. yeah, it would be no surprise if he hits something here any moment how out of control this person is driving. If you have someone out there who might be on the 5 North, uh, let them know yeah. what's going on because this is an extremely dangerous situation with this car driving significantly faster than traffic and now on the shoulder and putting a lot of lives at danger, frankly. Yeah, and he really was weaving in an or that, back and forth. I thought there, as you see, he's leaving the carpool lane, uh, probably trying to ditch police. Not sure if he knows that he's got a police helicopter above him tracking all of his moves, but now he is going, getting off of the uh, freeway there. Looks like under the 56. Yeah, potentially. That's what I was thinking. Off of the 56 there, the, um, the bypass. Police were told to back off, as they often are, when there is a police chase like this where the person is driving really fast. Sometimes police are told to back off so that the driver will slow down yeah, so he doesn't feel like he's being chased. But clearly, as you said, yeah, that is not the case. This guy is all over the place. No, in fact, on the freeway, he was passing a car a moment while we were in that uh, break and nearly hit one of those barriers head on. And you can see how fast this guy's going. I mean, and we can't tell, you know, by number, through, but it is blowing through much stop faster lights than you too. Would ever imagine. Look at going across the uh, <gasps> center divide. He just hit something. He must have hit a so uh, mirror, maybe? Someone's, someone's something mirror like there? Something like that, yes. But, uh, put, gosh, putting a lot of people in danger the way that he is going in and out uh, of traffic and around cars. Now on surface streets, right? So he's not on a freeway. Wow. He's more on a highway side street kind of situation where there's businesses and maybe even homes around that area. And uh, with not a lot of regard for the people around him. Yeah, if you have kids watching this, you may want to um, remove them from the from the room. We never know. These are live pictures, so we don't know what's going to happen. Um, if police ask us to back off as our chopper as well, we will certainly do that. I haven't seen Andrew, interestingly enough, any uh, police cars behind him. So this guy definitely is just trying to get away as he weaves through. I'm trying to get a little bit better idea of where he's going. I thought he got off of the 56 into the Carmel Valley area, but now it looks like he's uh, potentially driving on just some. Uh, yeah, I think he got off that and came onto some side streets here and kind of just lost it. Did he stop? I don't know. There are Sky Fox about kind of blocked scene, by to that, find him. that ridge right there. He right. May have just, Unless he's he's going off maybe to the right. They're trying to find him now. I mean, he was going so fast and all of a sudden Unless we lost, lost. Yeah, he's not there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sky Fox also lost him. Yeah, he, he came out. around that ridge. On the left right. side of the screen, there's that ridge. So we kind of lost picture of him for a second. But they're going to find him here momentarily. Our producers are also trying to get some information as far as the street road that he's on. Look, Sky Fox definitely confused, trying to figure out where did this guy just disappear to. Uh, that car, that's, it was a red sedan. It was speeding at very high, high speeds. There, he, there is. he is. Uh, um, it's, it's so rare for a helicopter to lose him and perhaps lose perspective considering the angle that they have. But that guy just happened to be in, in a certain spot where he was able to get away for 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, he there, is, but he back is on him. like disregarding all traffic. My gosh, you think of that biker there as he's 
going through the intersections, not stopping. He slowed down a little bit, thankfully. That was the first uh, time we've seen him take any regard for anybody else there. We've been watching this police chase was started less than 10 minutes ago out off of Gilman Drive in La Jolla. The guy hopped on the five northbound there. We're getting a clear picture you can inside. Read the um, driver's uh, license plate. there yeah, too. I can't read it. It's going too fast, but man, look at him going through and anyone who drives in the La Jolla uh, Carmel Valley area at this time knows how difficult traffic is there. He's going into one of the neighborhoods. It looks like he's pulling into wow. a house. Is it a house or an apartment This is complex? in Camino del Mar. Okay, he's Mar. pulled into a parking space here. Let's see if he gets out and makes a run for it. And that's right. exactly what it looks like he's going to do. Look, it's like, is there somebody else in the car perhaps? Or he threw maybe something else in? Let's see. I'm surprised we're not seeing any police officers behind him, but you got to believe they're close on his tail as the chopper uh, person there is going to be uh, giving police direction. He may have just dropped direction. something out and got back in the car. What in so the So hard world? to tell from, from this angle and this, and this height, but uh, well, back in the car. He definitely moved something, but there he goes back in the car off of Camino Del Mar. Trying to talk with our producer now. Is this in the Carmel Valley area, Ryan? We're still in the Carmel Valley area off the five. We saw him get off of the bypass. Now he's driving on the sidewalk. Oh, wow. And there's a guy right there. It shows you just how dangerous this is. Man. Uh, you know, and no fault to the other drivers. You're kind of like in your zone sure. when you're driving home. You don't really realize what's going on unless someone is calling or texting you and they're watching it on the news saying, hey, man, look out for this uh, kind of crazy driver here in this red car. I didn't see anybody else in the vehicle, but that doesn't mean that he that there isn't somebody. We just didn't see him right. when he stopped there. He definitely got out of the car, adjusted something. It looked like he threw something in his passenger side and then got back in the car and kept going. Yeah, so he was just in the bike lane a moment ago. And while he's taking a little bit of regard for intersections, he's not taking any regard for uh, you know, walking intersections where people might be coming across the street or obviously the bike lane that he got in a second ago. Now he's at a dead stop and kind of has nowhere to go because he can't really go over that median and he can't get around any of these cars. This is the first time we've kind of seen him stop uh, and really get stuck, uh, kind right. of boxed in, but uh, that is the case. And again, like you said, Jen, these cars around him have no real idea of what's going on. They don't realize mm -hmm. Sky Fox and uh, police choppers are above head following this particular red car, but that's exactly what's happening because uh, this guy has been driving so erratically and so wildly for the last couple of minutes that we've been seeing some pretty incredible stuff as he now moves into the Del Mar area. Again, if you have anybody out in the road right now that could be in the Del Mar area uh, or even on the five um, that could potentially be in the path of this guy, give him a heads up. Let him know what's going on. Oh, We're doing our goes. best Look to get the information. Look at him weaving in and out. Oh, my goodness. Is this really Jimmy dangerous. Durante? This looks like Jimmy Durante Boulevard going right through. If, if I'm right where he is, I think the racetrack mm -hmm. is going to be up here on the left where he just went through sort of the downtown Del Mar area. But he has been all over the road, so I could definitely be wrong in my if directional. That is in, in fact, the case, he could be headed right back to the five. Right. It looks like his arm or something is out of the window. He's got his window rolled down or he's holding up his arm. In many this cases is, like this. could just be blocking the sun. Right. That's where the sun is right this part of the day. It's so interesting. We see so many police chases out of the L.A. area, not very many in the San Diego area. In a case like this, we did hear that police were told to back off as he was on the five. Uh, and probably for good reason, honestly, because the mm -hmm. way this guy was driving, he was so erratic and going so fast. So if this is uh, where we think that he is, this uh, road kind of is swinging around where Del Mar racetrack is. Hard to tell. It's really hard to yeah, tell because really we're so can't. focused in. But maybe if Sky Fox does pull out here, we'll see the racetrack on the left side. And that's exactly where they are. It is. Okay, so right. the five is right in front of him. He's going to come up to right. um, the road here, Via de la Valle, mm -hmm. and perhaps take a right and get back on the five. Yep. Or would go left and get closer to uh, to the water. Right, so that's Jimmy Durante Boulevard that he's on. He's going to come up on that, that Hilton Hotel there mm -hmm. on the right and the gas station. And Andrew, I think you're right on. If he wants to get try to lose the police tail, he is probably going to get back on the freeway. Though you drive this every day, and the 5 northbound is normally pretty crowded. Well, sure. It's 537 in the afternoon. He is going toward the 5 right now. So taking that right and getting onto Via de la Valle. And, uh, if maybe he stays just in that lane, he'll get on the 5 hundred yards southbound. Ahead. Just a couple hundred yards ahead is the 5. So he stays in the right lane. He's going south. If he keeps going a little farther, he's going to get to the opportunity to go north. And he is going south. It looks like so he is right. getting back on the five going south and perhaps, you know, a, a move to avoid some traffic. Like you said, this time 
uh, of the day at 537. And clearly that is the case looking at the five, a lot more open for this driver to head back south. This is a, a chase, by the way, if you're just joining us, it started in the La Jolla area. And this is what we saw as it started. Mm -hmm. This guy driving extremely fast, extremely erratically, and with little.